Hey friends, welcome back. It's Wednesday evening. You have already seen the food pantry, food bank, um, free food giveaway um, that we were blessed with. And now it is time for me to get some dinner cooking. I'm not super hungry. I had a salad and some strawberries and an apple today. And I still have to feed the family though. I didn't lay any meat out, and I don't typically lay stuff out to cook on a Wednesday because I never know what we're going to receive from the pantry that maybe I need to hurry up and use up before it goes to bad. And today we didn't receive any of that. Nothing that needed to be used right away. So I have, it's kind of loud. I don't know if it's too loud for you guys. Maybe I can move it. Um, but I have my air fryer turned on. I'll move you guys right here. There we go don't fall. Why do y'all look so lopsided? All right. So I have my air fryer turned on because in my freezer, I have received from this exact food pantry, uh, bags of fish sticks and I have two bags left. I don't think I have any opened in here. I need to double check. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I said that. Never mind, I do have an open bag. I'm glad I said that because I forget that sometimes the kids will open them, cook some, and then they move it to the inside fridge instead of in the outside fridge. Well, it's not really outside, it's in the laundry room. Um, or freezer, not fridge. But I'm gonna put some fish sticks in the air fryer and Since I have all the potatoes, um, I took and sliced them, just basically shoestring for a size. And right now they're just soaking. Uh, don't ask me why, I don't know why. I just know that when you soak them in ice water and the longer you let them soak before frying them, the better they seem to turn out. Don't quote me on that, it's been forever. I just. It's something I've always done. I soak them in ice water. Why? I'm not exactly sure. Um, I don't remember that. I just remember somewhere. So I have them just cut really thin. And that was actually only four potatoes that I, I cut really thin. I washed six, but there's still two that I did. I was like, you know what? I don't need those. So they're going to dry before I put them up. Um, but I have some oil grease, whatever you want to call it, it's vegetable oil. It's my frying oil because where I'm cheap, I will let it cool off. I will put it back in the jug and I will use it a couple times before I toss it out. So, and it's already been used a couple times. So I am going to allow these to just sit over here and soak while the oil is getting hot. And like I said, we're gonna get some fish sticks and some french fries. That's what they're gonna have. Me, I'll probably have a salad, maybe a couple french fries. But for the most part, I'll probably just have salad and strawberries, maybe another apple. And it's easy for me to eat like that as far as eating salads and stuff because I was actually a vegetarian for over a year. Um, so I like my vegetables. Alright. down here all right so basically all I'm doing guys is I'm just waiting on the oil grease to heat up on the stove and we're gonna fry some potatoes and turn them into french fries. Um, my salad that I have tonight is gonna be a super simple salad because I'm gonna use what I have on hand. So it's gonna be exactly what I've been having and that is 
some sort of lettuce base. Uh, so I still have some romaine lettuce, I'll use that. But I also have that bag salad I received today. So I may mix a couple of, a little bit of both. Um, and I can go and get my salad packed for lunch tomorrow. Some shredded carrots that I shredded or cut up myself that I've received from the pantry. And I still have a little bit of that tomato left from the pantry on Sunday. Um, maybe a little shredded cheese. I didn't have cheese on my uh, salad at work today uh, because I forgot it. So I may just go ahead and put some cheese on it. And super simple guys. So what are you having for dinner tonight? What is your go-to quick and easy, mama's tired or daddy's tired or auntie's tired or grandma's tired or I'm just tired. What is your quick and easy, I'm tired meal? Go ahead and let me know. Um, growing up, we always had fish sticks and box mac and cheese. But I did not want to do mac and cheese again tonight because they've had a lot of mac and cheese over the past couple days. And if they really want mac and cheese, there is still some leftover uh, from last night uh, that they can heat up. But I think they'll be fine with fish sticks and french fries. So. Yeah, I mean, I guess I can get some strawberries out and wash them up, get them cut up. But I don't know. And I'm debating on Friday there may be a little surprise as far as dinner goes, which you guys would not see that until Saturday. So we'll, we'll see. But right now, because we're not really doing anything, I'm just kind of waiting around for my grease to get hot. I'm going to let you guys go and I'll bring you back when it's time to drop some fries in the grease. So stay patient. All right guys, so I'm hoping my grease is hot enough. Um, and I wanted to show you what I do. So you guys know that I was soaking the cut potatoes in ice water. Now, all I do is I pull them out and I put them in a strainer over a bowl to just kind of allow them to drip dry. They're not gonna be completely dry, guys. So now you're very, you have to be careful. And all right, so it's hot. It's hot enough and it will splatter, so we just want to be very careful because you don't want it to boil over. So, I did turn my heat down some because I don't want it super, super hot. Yeah, it's really hot. So, I mean, you can also take and dry them off a little more. I would drop it in there, but um, honestly, that's a smaller pot, so... It's still going to splatter no matter what because it's grease, guys. But see how when I take some of that moisture off? So I'll just take and in between a couple paper towels, I'll just roll them. It's not a big deal, guys. Just be careful because you don't want your grease to come over and, you know, that's dangerous, guys. Safety in the kitchen. Now, if it was a deeper pot, I'm not even going to lie, I probably would not hesitate to drop them in there because normally I don't dry them off. I just drain them the best I can. But because it's a smaller pot, I don't want a spillover of grease because I have little furry animals and uh, they get at my feet and I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to hurt myself. But honestly, my brain isn't even worried about myself. It's more or less, I don't want to hurt them. And if you have a electric stove that has like the burner eye thingies, like the, the spiral burners, you can have a house fire. I mean, grease boiling over, fire. I don't know if this would start a fire, to be honest with you. Um, I have no clue. I know if you leave paper on it, it'll catch fire. I'm just saying because I know it's hot. That and I may have burnt a towel before, but not like on fire. There was no flames. It was just, it turned like, um, it got charred. I went to go clean it off and it was still hot. So yeah. All right, see how it's coming up? I don't want it to go over, so I'm taking my time, guys. And I just have a metal slotted spoon. Use um, something that's not gonna melt. And yeah, that grease is nice and hot, so I'm happy that I turned it down. And then I just have a bowl lined with paper towels. 
that I will pull them over in. It's not hot back here. All right, and I am going to take and pull some more fries over and allow them to start draining. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I have them all cooked. And then as they come out, I will season them. I don't think I have any more like fry seasoning, so let's see here. I wonder if this will work. Let's line them on this paper towel. I know I have plenty of salt and pepper. Oh, and I wanted to show Laura something. She shared her salt and pepper shakers on her video one day, and she has the um, spring blossom, or as some people know, the crazy daisy ones. I have the gold butterfly ones. So, yeah. All right. Let's see how they're looking over here. Oh, we had one jump out. It said it wanted to be done. I'm glad I turned the grease down though, because you don't want the outside to cook quicker than the inside. I guess I'll just season them with some salt, because I honestly don't think I have any more fry seasoning. Um, I'll double check, but I don't think I do. So I gotta go down here to this cabinet to check. I do not, guys, do not. I mean, you could honestly season it however you want. I'm just going to throw some salt on it. And because they're fries, instead of using this one, which I do like this one, but it's not as strong as regular table salt. I'm just gonna use regular table salt on them. And I'm curious, because these were in there to start with. Perfect, guys. All right. I'm going to keep on doing this. The air fryer is cooking the chicken nuggets. I'll bring you guys back when it's all said and done. So, see you soon, guys. All right, guys. I know you would rather me just stay on and talk to you and talk to you and talk to you. But honestly, guys, um, I didn't have much to talk about today. And my daughter was in here, so talking to her. But I have their dinner done. Super simple. These are my homemade fries. Uh, Josh actually had one and he said better than McDonald's. Um, this is what I have, a salad and some strawberries. I may have a couple fries. And I did slice some more strawberries if they wanted some. So, all right. We're just gonna put, I don't like touching fish sticks. I think they're gross. I don't know where my clampers are. Or, here we go. We'll put them all on. Ew. Um, we have more. So, turn you guys down. Oh, they stink. I hate fish sticks. They're not terrible, but do y'all want to start with four each? There's more in this other basket. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to start them off with four each. I don't know what y'all want to dip in. Um, I didn't mayonnaise. get any dips out. I'm gonna get mayonnaise. You want mayonnaise? Katie, do you want anything to dip your fish sticks in? Homemade french fries. Ranch. Ranch. Babe? Um, what do you want to dip? Ketchup. Ketchup. All right, see? We have a ranch, a mayo, and a ketchup. All right. This is, and does anyone want strawberries or do y'all just want me to put the bowl on the table? No, I'm okay. Babe, um, 
Do you want me to just set the extra bowl on the table or no? Yeah, I didn't know. If you don't want any, that's fine, sweet pea. Because I'll eat them. Well, I might get them on Okay, I'll set them on the table. All right. You got ranch. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Perfect. All right. We have ranch. So there's Katie's. I'll just take a few french fries. Not a lot, just a couple. And Josh does not need, he's not spoiled like that, so. Ketchup on his plate. I'm gonna put a little bit of ranch on my plate for my french fries, and that's it. Okay. All right, so. You have it. That is their dinner. We have Hannah's, Katie's, and Josh's, and I have salad and strawberries with just a couple french fries. So, guys, just remember, if you have russet potatoes and you want french fries, you can make your own, guys. That whole bowl was only four russet potatoes. So, what'd you eat? Okay. What do you think? I'm really good. Okay. All right. So there you have it. Super simple. You can have it, baby. Babe, you can take Katie's tour, please. Thank you. I'll be over there in a minute. Thank you. You're welcome. Super simple. Make your own french fries. I mean, if you got frozen ones like Laura does, Laura's got all the french fries. Remember, we're going to have a french fry party, but it's going to be at her house. So, I mean, we got to go all the way to Utah. Um, I'll bring the apples, don't worry. You got the fries, I got the apples. So, make your own, guys. If you, like I said, if you have potatoes, you can make your own. I don't really know what else to say, guys. It's one of those days that my brain's just like, I don't have too much to talk about. So, I guess until next time, take care. Um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say, so I keep saying the same thing. All right. I feel like I should talk to you guys more because I feel like this is a short video. Um, but in all honesty, like, it's just, it's been one of those days at work and mentally draining. So until next time, friends, take care.